want is you. <laughs> Come on, let's go. What do you Oh, it's playing already. Why? Pretty girl. Pretty girl. I'm sorry, but I think Ivan is right. No more talking Oh, you got food in your mouth. Ew. <laughs> you got food in your mouth. Okay, I'm missing my show. pretty fake looking <laughs> I know actually they still look good it's going on it's gonna be two weeks so it's about a week and a half now but they still look really good usually flowers by now are like losing their petals so Coco come on babe where's Tommy here you go Tommy You always want to go in so early. Why don't you change your address? Are you in denial that we live together now? <laughs> and that we're married and that we're happy? <laughs> Look at this, you guys. I turned them upside down, obviously, because I don't want you guys to see the address, but babe, change your address. My head is pounding. I had my coffee today, so it's not like, you know, me having caffeine with dolls, but my head just really hurts. And unfortunately, I had to take something for it, so. There's Alwyn. Um, Alwyn is now in Seattle. They just got there a couple of hours ago. They're there for, um, I think it's called Seafair. It's kind of like, um, if you guys watched our vlog for Fleet Week, yeah, it was Fleet Week. I think it was like September or something. I'm pretty sure it's September. But um, we got to take like a family tour of his ship and all that good stuff. Did the sun just go away? It's weird but we gotta take a tour of his ship and that's pretty much what they're doing up there so it's nice I guess but he said that it's just really pretty out there in Seattle he sent me pictures of like the water and he said that even though it's really cloudy out that everything is just like so green and I would love to go to Washington I would love to Sounds good, we must explore. Yeah, Alvin is definitely like getting a travel itch right now. He wants to travel. See, that's the good thing about like being in the military is if you get too comfortable or like if you get sick of one place, you know you're not gonna be there that long. So that's also like the sad part about the military is you fall in love with a place and you know you're not gonna be there that long. So that's that. But I went to Target and Walmart because there's some things that Walmart has that Target doesn't. But I went to Target and found um, like these little chrome plates to put under the gas burner because I'm so tired of scrubbing the, um, it's like, if you guys can see it, the burn, like around the burner itself is white and that does not stay clean. Like the flame turns it brown and that drives me crazy because it's like, why make it white if the flame is going to turn it brown? So whoever built this house. Kiss my balls. Sorry. But yeah, just 
just basically unpack unpacking is that the right word i'm taking everything that i bought out that's what i'm doing look at these ripe bananas but yeah i'm making banana bread again today i think i'm gonna probably bring some to alan's mom depending on how much this makes but ouch I'm gonna make some banana bread and then I'm gonna try to FaceTime my mom later. She's been trying to FaceTime me for like the past week and I feel so bad because I'm just like slammed with work. So sometimes I will just go home and go to sleep. And so yeah, I mean, if you guys don't know, my dad is retired Navy. So they retired and built a house in the Philippines and they're just like loving their retirement life. Retirement life, retired life. So, I mean, they're having a blast in the Philippines. And I told my mom, I was like, hey, when Alwyn gets deployed, do you want to come and visit me? AKA stay with me through the whole deployment. That's why I work a lot is so I don't have the time to miss him. I mean, I miss my husband all the time regardless. But to sit there and think about it and to have it hit you really, really sucks. So... If you are a new military wife and you don't work, if you don't want to work, I mean, obviously I want to say if you're a new military wife and you don't like being alone and your husband is going to be out at sea a lot, especially obviously for sea duty, um, you need to get a job because you are, you're, you're going to miss him and it's going to be extra lonely because you're going to get so used to being with your significant other that when they're gone, oh, it's going to hit you really, really bad. But if you don't want to work, then you better have some damn hobbies to keep you busy because let me tell you guys, just stay busy so you avoid thinking about it and you avoid it hitting you. Like it being missing your husband, feeling alone and just, I don't know. Um, a year and a half ago, I was not able to stay home alone for a day. Uh, there's this thing called duty that my husband has every six days where he sleeps on the ship, has to stay on the ship, and those, I used to think those sucked, but then now, like, underway, where, you know, when he leaves for, like, days to weeks, and some, I guess, like, some underways can last, like, a month or two, I'm not quite sure, but he says that sometimes there's, like, really long ones. Thankfully, we haven't had experience that, but I've learned to pretty much be alone. I don't like being alone, but I've learned to cope with it, so, yeah. And Alvin really does a good job of making sure I'm okay. He will make a point to email me a lot, if as much as he can, anyway. Um, the last time he left for two weeks, I got an email every day. Sometimes I got two a day. So that was really easy for me. Uh, there's some times where I don't hear from him at all. So it really just, it depends. Like, But either way, you have to worry about yourself because... What did I even say? <laughs> it's just, I wouldn't say being, I definitely would say though that being like a military wife is not for everyone. I feel like some people just aren't up for all the traveling, some people aren't up for being alone a lot of the time, but it's like you have to remember that as hard as it is to be, you know, left behind all the time, you have to remember that it's also hard doing the leaving. My mom did it for like 20 plus years. And she raised three kids by herself, pretty much. I think my dad actually missed my older brother's birth. My birth. Wait, oh, did he miss my older brother's birth? I don't think so. I think he missed mine. But, you know, you're going to miss days. You're going to miss holidays, birthdays, anniversaries. And a lot of those things come with the military life. But at the same time, it comes with a bunch of advantages. You get to travel a lot. You get so many different opportunities get thrown at you for being military affiliated. So, yeah. And whoops, I feel like I was going to say something else. I definitely feel like I was going to say something else. Can you guys hear that? Coco's running around the living room. I don't even know. Everything is finally clean. Alright guys, I am eating dinner now and it's like 8 o'clock so I will probably just talk to you guys in the next vlog. I think I'm going to end it here. 
because I'm not going to do anything else but watch TV all night. <laughs> I made a beef stroganoff, 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 one of those. That's what I made for dinner. Well, yeah. I was going to eat this with a salad on the side, but I've been eating salad non-stop for like the past couple of days and I'm kind of over it, so just going to eat this. And I thought that when I went to go buy, when I went to the grocery store earlier, I thought I picked up ground turkey. Definitely picked up beef. I was wondering, I was like, why is this like so red? It's because it's freaking beef. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna eat my dinner. Continue binge watching Switch at Birth. And talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye.